Developing now at 11, it's a murder that shocked South Florida 17 years ago. And tonight, that killer who was serving a life sentence in prison is dead. Michael Hernandez was 14 years old when he lured a classmate into the bathroom and stabbed him to death 40 times. Tonight, the Florida Department of Corrections has confirmed that Hernandez died Thursday. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo is standing by live with more details on this. Jessica. That's right, Carly. Well, we have learned that Michael Hernandez died at the age of 31, that we have learned from a source that he collapsed in prison Thursday night. Take a listen. It's been 17 years since Michael Hernandez killed his middle school classmate, Jaime Golf, stabbing him more than 40 times. Both were just 14 years old. Confirmed by the Florida Department of Corrections, the infamous killer has died in prison at the age of 31. CBS 4 News has learned from a source Hernandez collapsed in prison Thursday night. Our source tells us it was caught on video. The source also says preliminary there are no signs of foul play. FDLE has taken over the investigation and an autopsy will be performed. I'm sorry for what I, what I did to him. Hernandez was sentenced to life in prison. Years after being sentenced, Hernandez had returned to court where prosecutors argued to keep him in prison for life. Here's what he had to say in February of 2016. It hurts me how, how senseless it was because he was always such a good friend to me. And I wanted to apologize to his family, to his mother. But prosecutors did not buy his apology after hearing chilling recordings of jail calls from Hernandez joking about his inability to cry. Well, why don't you practice your weekend learning how to cry? <laughs> oh, my God. In having an obsession with serial killers, his prosecutor, Gail Levine, had let Hernandez have it. You cry on cue. That's what you do. Oh, man. How'd you muster up those tears? I feel horrible about what I did. Yeah. So horrible to say, I may have to stab myself. You didn't think? that I was smart enough to listen to your call. Now we have attempted to reach out to retired Miami-Dade prosecutor Levine, but she told our news partners at the Miami Herald, quote, he was an evil person who showed no remorse. Finally, justice was completed. Now, earlier today, we did speak to the parents of Jaime over the phone. They say they're shocked and need time to process this news. They did tell our news partners at the Miami Herald that they think of their son every single day. Again, we will be interviewing them tomorrow, so stay tuned. I'm live in Doral, Jessica Vallejo, CBS, 4 News Tonight. Jessica, thank you. Now, 